Um, instead of doing the diaper change, let me get ready here. I got diaper cloth A, diaper cloth B. I really should have used two diapers, but we'll pretend like we only have one. You do the sniff check and you're like, oh good, it's time to change you. And um, so, like I said, if you're like most parents, the way that, that goes is we take the diaper off, we flip them up, take that one out, do the wipe, and back down. Put in the new diaper, button them back up, right? Um, the problem with that is if you only have a spine curve like this, every time you pull the baby up like this, you're actually putting the nerve root that goes into the intestines out of place. It lives right here, and there's a direct connection between all those nerve roots right here and your small and large intestines. And so by, by doing that, by, by bringing that, those hips forward, you take that vertebra and shove it backwards out of position and cause nerve interference that ends up stopping the flow of information from the brain into the intestines. So during this point in time, what are we doing? We're learning like crazy, right? You've got your breastfeeding, so the environment on the inside's changing. Like I said, 80% of the immune system's designed by learning from what the gut is, has going on. So you, you're, you're causing a lot of gas in this area just because the intestines aren't able to process information right. So they bring me to the chiropractor, I take a look and I go, yep, here's where the problem is, and we do the adjustment, and then it's better. And then we come back the next week, and we've got the same problem, and I go, yep, here's where the problem is, yep, it's better. And we keep on going over the cycle until, you know, about six months to learn how to crawl because the spine curve's changed. If you just do this one thing, so we take, take the diaper down and we just roll over the side and you lift a leg and you clean this side. We're pretending that's a fresh diaper. <laughs> and you roll and go right through there. Sneak that diaper back through. And we button back up. Babies are squirmy, right? Nobody ever said they weren't. Um, and so it's a lot more convenient to do the leg lift because you have more control over them. But once you get the hand of just being able to single-handedly roll, all you have to do is just hold them by their chest. You just hold them by their chest and roll them over and do the one hand, roll it over. It takes a little bit of prep work to have all your stuff together, but just that one change stops you from taking that, that primary curve and putting that vertebra out of place. Now, when do you need to do this to? Up until they learn how to crawl. Because once we learn how to crawl, then we start developing this curve back here, and then we can have room to do the bending in through there. You notice we don't have a whole lot of colic with babies who are crawling, right? Right, yeah, that, that's part of the reason why. But so you can sleep for the first six months. <laughs> this might be a good, uh, just a good simple way to change what you're doing.